Spent more than two decades in prison, is now looking to prevent others from heading down the same path. He now has a job in the legal system, and he's using his spare time to help those coming out of jail. 69 News reporter Tom Rader has more. Our office is right over here. A former death row inmate says he wants you to look at him differently. Show me as an example of what you can do given opportunity. Sean Bridges spent more than 20 years on death row for a homicide conviction in the late 1990s. Retried in 2013 and resentenced in 18. He's been free since 2019. I got a second chance, second opportunity to live life again. Like many coming back into society, he faced challenges finding a job. McDonald's or Burger King's or any, any minimal work. You have trouble because you got a record. But this story is about the job he did find and wants to help others in his situation find too. I know both sides. First, I know just criminal side. I know the jail side of the things. And me coming home and getting the opportunity, now I work at a courthouse. Not even just a court, I work in the court's office. After his job at the Monco Courthouse, he heads to Burke's Community Action Program in downtown Reading to help others after their sentences to return to society. You need an ID because the prison you was at didn't help you get one or you need to get some type of health care, or you need to find clothing, or just the minimum stuff. That's our job. Why should you care about this problem? Every day somebody being released. He doesn't just want to talk to those who have served their sentence, but those whose sentence hasn't yet been set. I can tell a teenager, a child, this is what you got looking forward to if you continue down this path. Like, you really want to go to prison? Bridges has been there. Now he's here to help those like him and to hopefully find young people like him before it's too late. A known person don't really think about the consequences of their actions until they're actually in it. I'm trying to stop it before we get that far. If you know someone soon to be released from prison, you can reach out to the Burks Community Action Program. In Reading, Tom Rader, 69 News.